Hey. I'm Linnea. I made Healthy Looks Good on You not too long ago, mainly as a way to stay accountable to myself. Um, I started on this journey discovering and working on the fact that I'm a food addict. It's it's really still hard for me to say those words out loud. Um, I'm a food addict. Um, No one wants to say that they're an addict to anything. The sense that you have no control over your life, your body, your thoughts with this certain thing or substance. Um, it's, it's not fun, but being able to say it out loud and work on it have been very healing for me. Um, I have a food addiction and this is something I've known for the last probably three years. Um, but it was just about a year ago when I really started wrestling with the idea that I need to do something about it. I can't just live like this. I can't hide wrappers from my husband. I can't preach to my kids to eat healthy and then I'm in the corner eating junk food that um, I can't sneak out every time I go out to go shopping or get groceries or go to Bible study to drive through drive go through drive through or stop at a gas station and get that poison that drug that was calling out to me um it was exhausting N- thinking about nothing else but food um eating my lunch and thinking how I could rationalize the fact that I didn't get enough and I needed to go have whatever's in the break room at work or um, eating lunch with my or dinner with my kids and then my husband leaving for the night and then I'm alone in front of the TV for two hours before bedtime knowing that there is a kitchen and then literally eating anything and everything I find that won't um, cause too much suspicion um, or get in the way of feeding my family the next day. Although that probably happened a couple times. Um, it's exhausting. It was so exhausting. And there was two very good friends that I finally, um, let into that world of mine, um, which was scary, but they were very loving and caring and they just wanted me to be happy and content in life. And, um, they softly yet frequently checked in on me, did whatever they could to encourage me to seek help. And it was uh, my friend who had heard of Brightline Eating and she um, even I think two years ago told me about it. Um, And I was very skeptical. Um, I read some reviews and Dietitians that said it's just a bunch of people with food, uh, you know, with um, with eating disorders, you know, binge eating disorder, whatever, just latching onto a different eating disorder that very rigid and you only are allowed this much and um, and it's 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 not the way to go. So I was a little scared of it. I'm a nurse and in healthcare and I want to be healthy, but obviously what I was doing wasn't healthy. Um, so. In quarantine, um, I decided to give intuitive eating a try. I think intuitive eating is amazing if it works for you. For me, it was the absolute worst. I, um, intuitive eating, right in the book, the book that I read specifically says they don't believe that food addiction is a thing. So I was, I was a little taken back by that because I really felt that I had a food addiction, but I knew that that was, you know, needing to heal my relationship with food. So maybe intuitive eating is the way to do it. Um, but once you're given permission to eat anything and everything you want and to not ever restrict, and they say that if you restrict, that is where those cravings and the binging comes from. Um, so someone without an addictive mind, someone that doesn't have a food addiction, I've seen people have 
great success in intuitive eating. And I think that's the way to go for most people. But if you have a food addiction, which I 1000% think is real, I know it's real, I've lived it. Intuitive eating is, it's, it's the worst thing possible. Giving yourself free reign. My, my eating was so out of control. I was, I, I went into this, I, in three months, I think I gained 30 pounds. Um, I was eating anything and everything I could because it told me I should and I could and this would help me and it would fix me and it didn't. It broke me. So like I said, I'm not saying intuitive eating is bad, but if you have a food addiction, that's where, that's where I'm, I'm coming from a place of, it's okay to accept it, to voice it. And there's real ways to help. Um, I found amazing help with bright line eating. It's not, you know, the, a magic pill. Um, there's plenty of people that use it that don't find success, but it's also how hard you work it and what other things that you have in your life to support you in this. So all of that being said, my goal here is since I, since I've been doing this, I started my Instagram page, healthy looks good on you, you know, six months ago. Um, and I've just discovered this passion for wanting to help people that are stuck in this horrible, debilitating place of food addiction. I mean, it, it debilitates you. I mean, life could be moving past you at the speed of light and you are just stuck in a big pit of molasses and you probably be eating it, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, um, so with this, you know, passion for wanting to help people, um, you know, come follow me on Instagram. Let's connect there. There's a lot more like interaction and, and conversation, but I wanted to get these things out to maybe be something that someone could find and know that they're not alone. And that, you know, 36 year old me, Renea nurse from hospital turned school nurse, like I mean, we come in all shapes and sizes and, um, and I, I found some peace. I do not have all easy days. I still, um, have cravings and urges almost every single day, but they're quieter. They're getting quieter. Um, I have tools. Um, I have a way of eating that sustains me and gives me peace and comfort and delicious food. So, um, I'm hoping to share not only some of my personal experiences, um, some encouragement, but also maybe some tips and tricks on making the cats join me. Yeah. Um, making, um, this no sugar, no flour, um, abstinent way of eating super delicious and easy. I am not a gourmet cook. I like my meals in 20 minutes or less, as least amount of steps as possible. So I'm going to do some grocery haul videos, some of my favorite staples, um, my go-tos when my, my planned meals were, um, maybe the food went rotten in the fridge. What do I do last minute? Um, how I handle restaurants. Um, I just want to show some people out there that might have this food addiction monkey on their shoulder that it's it's possible so hope you join me along for this journey and i hope that you can find some success in um, your food addiction